Hello and welcome back to another Madden 23 gameplay video brought to you by the Painted Lines. Madden 23 just dropped a couple days ago on the 15th and I'm back checking out the Eagles roster here for you guys, giving you some gameplay footage. We've already got games up against the Bears and the Jets. This is going to be the Eagles against the Dolphins on the road in Miami and we are going to take the ball first. There's been some waves going around on Twitter about uh, maybe some disrespectful ratings here for the Eagles, uh, who only have a 78 overall offense, which seems a little low considering the pieces that they added this offseason. You know, they add A.J. Brown, they've got an elite offensive line, although Madden doesn't appear to like the Eagles' offensive line as much as we do. Both of the guards, Landon Dickerson is like 75 overall, Isaac Samalo is a 71, and so maybe that brings down those ratings uh, just a little bit. And nothing there, really. I'm just going to scramble for a short gain and get out of bounds. Get to the next down. This looks like a prime run to the right situation here, the way those guys are lined up. So let's hand it off, and Sanders is going to bounce that back inside and gets close to the first down. I probably shouldn't have trucked there. Uh, he does, in fact, get the first down. One of the things I've noticed most so far in this game is just how how good the pass rush is. The pass rush really is not something uh, to be messed with this year. You're you're getting a lot of pressure really quick. I have definitely had to adjust a little bit how I play the game here. As so we're going to find Dallas Goddard right at the first down marker. Doesn't get both feet down. Bring us to second and ten. Devontae Smith on the out route is going to pick up eight, gets us into a third and two. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Here's Hurts to throw. Right to Miles Sanders, just over the head of Van Grinkle. Going to pick up a first down and get us deep into Miami territory. Let's go check out some under center plays real quick and see what under center looks like. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 34. Uh, <clears throat> I cut that right into the back of Jordan Mailata. And everybody gets beat there. Going to be a big sack. Takes us to a third and 13. Oh, just put out of range an inaccurate throw on the run, and we're going to have to settle for a field goal on our opening drive. Should have probably stopped and set my feet there. Alright, let's see if we can contain an explosive passing offense uh, that Miami is sure to have. 
with Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. Quick pass out to Waddle in the flat. Yeah, five yard gain with the tackle by Nicobe Dean. And Fletcher Cox is going to shed. Stops Raheem Mostert in his tracks. Got a chance to get off the field here on a third and four. And that's going to be an interception by James Bradbury. Reservations for six as the Eagles are going to take a 10-0 lead, obviously pending an extra point here. Really hope we see more of that from the Eagles this year. Some more big plays, not just from Darius Slay. Big play, Bradbury. It's got a nice little ring to it. Blitz into a screen pass. Brought a blitz off the right edge, and he ran a screen to the left. Just unfortunate timing there. Instant pressure off of the edge. That's Hassan Reddick rushing with a hand in the dirt. Gets the sack. Dolphins behind the sticks with a second and 18. I feel like so far in this year's game, play action pass blocking is just really poor. I feel like I've seen that quite a bit so far. If you guys are watching here on YouTube, uh, now th this is a pre-recorded gameplay, but if you're watching here on YouTube, drop down in our comments later. Uh, let me know what you think of the gameplay. If you've played the game yet, I'd love to get your guys' thoughts. And uh, If there's any other modes or things that you guys would like to see me play a little bit, uh, I'm always happy to put up some footage like that. Tug of Viola is going to throw it deep, and James Bradbury is going to make a play on the ball. It looked like he had a step. Jalen Waddle had a step there, but Bradbury is able to recover uh, and break that pass up. And so now we have a third and 18. Third and 18, we got to bring some heat. And Mike Gusecki just absolutely obliterates Anthony Harris on a slant route there, wide open. And they're going to convert a third and 18. Eagle safeties are just atrocious and bad. Very, very bad. I guess at this point we're just hoping they're not bad in real life, but I'm not convinced. Screen pass. Kobe Dean sniffs it out, but he gets blocked, and it's going to be a two-yard gain. We get a second and goal from the one. Nah, good play call there on the little RPO. 
So the Dolphins are on the board. It's going to be 10 to 7 pending this extra point. And they will get the ball after half, so hopefully we can go on a long drive here uh, for six. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stall, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better. Pick up a couple yards on the ground there. I've had a hard time getting the running game going. Uh, really in all Madden, not just in not just in this particular game, but I've really struggled with the running game. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. That's just a phenomenal block there by Quez Watkins, who totally ignores his assignment uh, and gives up that three-yard loss. All right, so we are in a tricky spot here on a third and 10. Key third and 10, we don't really want to give the ball right back uh, to our opponents here. Let's see if we can make something happen. Oh, Javon Holland is going to break up that pass and tend it up the seam for Dallas Goddard. It's going to be a quick three and out, which is absolutely what we didn't want. This is sent away. Watch out for Hill on the return. Okay, let's see if the defense can get a stop and preserve our lead in the first half. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field and a lot of the attack through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change Okay, we hit the two-minute warning. Uh, still clinging to a lead, largely on the back of that pick six. He's getting phenomenal blocking on these RPOs, um, and we just didn't get it when we tried one. So that that really killed that last drive for us, and has worked really well for him so far. Ah. Throws it right down to Edmonds. Well within field goal territory. Running that screen that he loves to run. But I just can't get there to make the play as he's going to call his first timeout. There we go. Get some instant pressure from Jordan Davis, the man they said couldn't rush the passer. Look to make amends on a second down and 17. That swung out to 
roll out there from Tua. He's going to get to a third and nine. He'll take a timeout. Just couldn't quite get there with White. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be fourth and two. We'll take a timeout. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining. The question is, will he go for it? And he's going to go for it. He is in I form slot, which I'm going to assume means. RPO. So I run committed up the middle, expecting that RPO, and it didn't matter. He just gets the stop anywhere. It's what should have happened the last play. I thought I had that defense set up to bait him into the throw, and it just doesn't work out for us. 10 seconds left. He's got no timeouts. Okay, he's going to go ahead and kick the field goal. We were going to dial up pressure so there. Second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Sanders' kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football. It's something they've worked on since the OTAs and many camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. They go play action with Hertz. Going deep here for Watkins. And we connect with Quez Watkins deep over the top. That 98 Madden speed. It's going to be a touchdown. And the Eagles will take the lead into the half. Hoping we see a lot of that from Quez Watkins. And from Jalen Hurts this year. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Both teams likely making their final adjustments before the second half. So, time for us to go back downstate to Miami and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. to start the drive this offense charles had a strong first half throwing the football at least in terms of yardage but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum yeah you're right about that because you know let's face it in the first Ooh, half, big pressure on Tua Tagovailoa. hassan reddick notches another sack he's at one and a half sacks on the day now gets us to a second and 20. Should be some gaps to run through now. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Looking to pass. Ooh, and Anthony Harris has a chance for a pick. But he misses the pick. Misses the tackle, too. He goes to a third and four. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. Let's see if we can trick him into making that quick throw again. Throwing now is Ah. Kaseki is tearing us up over the middle of the field. 
good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, Ready, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Steal! Just steal! Let's go! Go set! Set! Go! On first and ten, it's Moster. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go-round. They want to throw the ball like crazy. But the way to it's Fletcher Cox in on the play there. Going to be a three-yard gain on another one of those RPOs that he seems to like. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw Quick pass out of the backfield to Mostert. He is dicing us up here. right out into pressure he had a guy open uh, that I was definitely not getting back to cover but we get the pressure pressure makes bad coverage better and that's gonna get us to a third and 12 here can't see him running here so we're gonna stay in nickel Throws it right at Darius Slay. He's going to make the play. Swat it down. Fourth and 12. We're just going to call a safe man here because Madden players love, they love, love, love to go for it in crazy situations. We'll kick it. And so we are going to be up 17 to 13. And hopefully looking to go on a long drive here. Or just hit a one-play touchdown to Quez Watkins. I could go for that, too. Nothing there for us on the ground. Hertz is going to have to do this with his arm. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. We'll try to go back to the well, see if we can run behind everyone, and it's going to be intercepted by Javon Holland, who animates for the catch, and Quez Watkins does not. So took a shot. We burned them once, and then we get burned the next time we try it. The defense is back on the field, going to have to get us a stop here. And it didn't hurt, but he's got a good pair of hands, too. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them. And that's it. James Bradbury with the interception of Tua. It's going to make a man miss. Would this be his second touchdown of the game? It is James Bradbury. Two touchdowns, two interceptions, both returned for touchdowns in huge spots. Is he going to take over the mantra of big play slay? as the Eagles push out to a 24-13 lead. So 
another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And no return on this one. It's a two score lead about to start the fourth quarter here. Uh, would have to think as long as we don't give up big plays here, we should be in a good position. Let's bring out that Nick Sirianni passive defense that everybody loves to hate. And he's going to throw it right to. I don't know why. I don't know why we swatted that instead of catching it. But that's okay. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Now Tua. Oh, I read that route with Dean, but I got a little too far out in front. Couldn't quite get the interception there, and that's gonna bring us to the end of the third quarter. Throw your fours up. Eagles leading 24-13 on the back of two pick sixes by James Bradbury and a massive, massive play to Quez Watkins just before the half. Let's see if we can bring some pressure off the edge with Avante Maddox. Ah. Missed the tackle opportunity there. He will convert the first down. Tua is going to scramble right out into pressure there. Hassan Reddick picks up his second sack of the day. It's now a second and 14. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself. All right, let's make him think we're sending pressure here, but not actually send it. So we'll look like we're sending a blitz. Let's just drop back and play coverage. He's going to call that screen pass that he loves. It's only going to pick up two, though, so it gets him to a third and 12. Just short of the sticks to Hill. I really wanted to get out here to Maddox and it just didn't work out. Okay, he's going to go for it. No huddle, go for it. Fourth and one. He's going to throw it deep to Waddle and Slay is going to swat that ball right to Waddle. Which is certainly some interesting uh, logic there from the def defense. But Okay, it's going to be knocked down on first and goal. So second and goal, two minutes left. Very unfor er, unfortunate break there that that ball gets swatted right to Jalen Waddle. All right, let's see what our defense can do here on the goal line. Can we get the goal line stop? If I'm him, I'm not sure that I wouldn't kick the field goal right now. Not waste any more time. I guess this close made you try to go for it, but as soon as you're in field goal range, you got to at least think about kicking the field goal here. I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've got to run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. This Eagle defense, they won't give in without a fight. This is third and goal. And he runs the screen, and we're right there. It's going to be fourth and goal at the three-yard line. And he's going to roll right out into pressure. 
gonna be sacked. There was just nothing there. And it's probably gonna concede the game here. Concedes the game. And so the Eagles pick up the win over the Miami Dolphins, 24 to 13, on the back of some great play by the new acquisition, James Bradbury Jr. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure that you subscribe here on the YouTube channel. Uh, drop me a comment and let me know. I can showcase some Madden Ultimate team. Um, I can showcase some other teams. So let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll be happy to get some videos out there.